Hi everyone, it's Miss Jess from the Monroe Street Art Center, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a spider web out of your Halloween art kit. Inside of your kit, you're gonna find a bag of model magic. Um, you're gonna use this for your project today. You're also going to be cutting up some of your pipe cleaners from your art kit, as well as using the bug from your art kit. And then, googly eyes from your art kit, okay? Um, the first part of this project is to decorate a surface that looks like a spider web. I just use a piece of cardboard, okay? So I'm gonna start this project with a piece of cardboard. I cut it off of a box. I'm gonna use the side that doesn't have anything printed on it. And to start my project today, you can pretty much use anything you want to. You could use markers, paint, oil pastels, colored pencils. Um, I have a black and a white oil pastel with me today. So this is what I'm gonna use to draw my spider web. Uh, a really easy way to draw a spider web is to draw a spiral. If you start in the center of your shape, whatever shape you end up cutting out of a cardboard, start in the middle, okay? And I'm gonna press kind of hard so I get a really nice solid line. But if I start going around and around and it's getting out to the outside now, okay, all the way around, something like that, okay? Then I'm gonna make some straight lines that go all the way through it. Maybe one going this way, maybe one going this way, this way, and then this way. And you can draw as many lines as you want to. Every spider web is a little bit different. Some are really intricate and others are very simple, right? There's no right or wrong way to make a spider web. I also wanna use a little bit of my white today just for fun to give it a little contrast. And when white and black mix together, it makes kind of a gray color. Okay, so whatever you want your spider web to look like, spend some time decorating it. Uh, the fun part about doing uh, paint over oil pastels is that they resist each other. It's called an oil pastel resist. So I've got a little bit of wet, um, I've got water here, I've got my wet paintbrush, and I've got some temper cakes today that I'm gonna use to paint mine. Um, so like I said, an oil pastel resist, water and oil kind of resist each other, right? So actually when I go to paint over this, you're still gonna be able to see my lines underneath my watercolor paint, okay? These can be colorful spider webs. They could be rainbow spider webs, right? Could be anything. So take your time decorating. Um, since this one's gonna be wet, I'm gonna have to let it dry before I add my Model Magic spiders to it. So I actually prepared one ahead of time. This one is dry, it is finished, it's totally a rainbow spider web, okay? Now I'm gonna show you guys how to make your spiders out of Model Magic. Um, your pack of Model Magic that comes in your art kit is white. Uh, what I would recommend is cutting the top off like this and leave most of it in your package, right? This is like an air dry clay. Um, so the longer that it's exposed to the air, the faster it's gonna dry out. So if you leave most of it in your package, it'll stay nice and wet and moldable for a long time. I'm just gonna rip a chunk off the end here and use this. The way that you add color to your Model Magic is with markers. So I have a pack of Crayola markers here that I'm gonna use. And when you first get your clay, it might be a little bit firm. You kind of need to spend a minute or two softening it up, right? Using the palms of our hands, that's kind of the warmest spot in our hands, make it a little soft and squishy. And then when you're ready to add color to it, squish it like a pancake. And I can pick out what color I want to do. Maybe today I want to have, hmm, I'm gonna have a brown spider. So I take my brown marker, ooh, pull my cap off, and I'm gonna color right onto my little pancake of clay here, okay? I can even fold it in half, maybe add a little bit more color, okay? Cap it up, hear it click, and then you can mix it up. And a good way to mix up your clay is to rip it apart and stick it back together. Rip it and stick it and fold it all up, and you can see it's starting to change color, okay? Now, if you want it to be brighter than this, like maybe this isn't um, a more a vibrant enough brown, I can just add a little bit more marker. So I'll do the same thing again. Okay, roll it into a ball, squish it. You can take your anger out on it, squish it into a pancake, like that. Take my brown marker one more time and color on it. 
Now this is also fun if you wanna make your own colors. You can combine two different colors on here and sort of see what color your spider turns out, okay? Another thing I wanna mention is if you don't mix your um, marker in all the way, it is gonna leave this kind of a cool effect where it does look kind of marbly. You can sort of see dark and light spots, um, which looks very cool. Or you can totally mix it up all the way to have a really solid color. All right, now that I like the color that I have, to make our spider's body is just two simple shapes. It's two circles, one small circle for the head and one slightly bigger circle for the body. Now, since you only have one pack of Model Magic, think about how many spiders you wanna make out of this one pack. You could make one gigantic spider. You could make 10 itty bitty tiny spiders. It's up to you, okay? But here's the general way to make the body. If I rip this into two pieces, right? One piece a little bit smaller than the other one. The smaller piece is gonna be the head. So I'll roll it into a circle. And then same with the body, the slightly bigger chunk. I roll that into a circle and I stick them together. It's almost like a snowman, right? Like a tiny snowman, but sideways. Um, Inside of your kit, you are gonna have pipe cleaners. If you cut your pipe cleaners up into smaller pieces, these will work really well for your spider's legs. So I cut mine up already into tiny pieces, and I'm just gonna stick the end into the body, right into my clay. Now I think spiders do have eight legs, so think about how many pieces you need to cut up. Maybe mine's like a mutant spider today. Mine's only gonna have four legs. Okay, looking like a spider. Then, of course, if you want it to have googly eyes, you can pick out some googly eyes from your kit. And I would recommend using a little bit of glue to help them stick. I don't have my glue stick with me today, so I hope mine stay. But what you can do is put a little bit of glue on the very back of the eye, and then you squish it on, and it will help it stick. Okay, there's one eye. And how many eyes does your spider have? It could have two, it could have three, it could have six like this guy, right? Notice that my spider has like an open mouth, even with some like teeth in there. So if you wanted to do something like that, I just take a pair of scissors and make a little cut into my spider's head and it opens it up between a top and a bottom of the mouth. For little teeth, if you did want to add those, right? I've got all my extra model magic still in my pack, staying nice and wet. I can take a teeniest, tiniest little chunk off, roll those into little circles, and then I'll add them to the open mouth of my spider. One tooth, or maybe a fang if it's sharp, and two. Now my spider has teeth, or fangs, okay? and I can stick it on my spider web. Okay, whatever little bug you got in your pack, mine is like a huge one, we can pretend that this is like your spider's dinner, right? Little bugs that get stuck in the spider web. If you wanna glue it down, you totally can. I would suggest anything that you want to stay on your cardboard, again, just use a little bit of glue, glue stick, or even wet Elmer's glue will work too, okay? So have fun with this project. You can come up with spiders or you can come up with anything else. Maybe other things got stuck in your spider web too. I don't know, okay? Have fun.